So my name is Julia Martin Lefebvre. My name is not Leap, although I am sort of related to you all, and you forgot to say that, Jim, because actually w WWF was created by IUCN. Sir Peter Scott was a part of us. So we're not only neighbors, but adopt me as a sister. Or I'll adopt you as younger brothers. Anyway, IUCN is absolutely delighted to host this important event. We have had a 40-year, some 40-year involvement with Antarctic issues. In fact, um, we've been for a long time involved and inspired by CAMELAR, as you, you pronounce that very, very complicated acronym. And it, CAMELAR really inspired IUCN to work on large marine ecosystems globally. So we owe an awful lot to that. And of course, uh, to that effort. And of course, some of you may know that in 1991, IUCN had a strategy for IUCN for Antarctic conservation. I was about to show you the book, but I left it downstairs, but I hope many of you know it. And this really recognized the importance of the Antarctic system for conservation and, and, and for our work, and it really drove our work for many years. Uh, some of you who I spoke with this, this, uh, this evening were at our World Conservation Congress in Barcelona in October, and you may know that there are members. We've got 1,200 members, and a lot of, the, lot of the people here come from our member organizations. Our members approved a four-year program for us. And in this four-year program, this is the period in which IUCN has its programs, the main drivers of change for Antarctica um, are included. Of course, climate change and the very important problem of, of acidification of the seas, invasive species, the effects of tourism, bioprospecting, the expansion of fisheries, pollution, and the need to protect, protect areas in the marine, in, in the seas. I know that you are all discussing these important issues here this week, and we also look forward to hearing your results and to working with you to, to, to really convince everyone. Jim, I would just add the word everyone to your list. It's not only all those ministers, and certainly not only one minister, but all of them, heads of state, but also the, 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 the person in the street. So many parts of the IUCN system are very involved in the Antarctic, working on the Antarctic issues with you. As you may know, we have 1,200 members, governments and NGOs, and, and many of you are here tonight. Our commissions, we have six commissions of experts with 10,000 scientists and experts who give us their time free to work on these issues. Specifically, three commissions have been involved in Antarctic issues. Our Commission on Environmental Law, obviously working on the legal issues. Our World Commission on Protected Areas, working on the important marine protected areas issues. And of course, our Species Survival Commission, working on invasive species. Um, and of course, we have our secretariat. We've got about 1,000 people working with us in almost all parts of the world, many times in close cooperation with our brother and sister organization, WWF. And here tonight, I'd like to just introduce three members of our secretariat. Harlan Cohen, who's there, who you've seen all week, who's in our Washington office. Tom, Lo thank you, Harlan, for following this. Tom Laughlin, also from our Washington office, who came to us from one of our members, Noah, and of course, Carl Gustav Lundin, who is in charge of our Marine Protected Areas program. In fact, every part of IUCN is, involved in, is interested and passionately involved in these issues, but these three, I would say, are the leaders. For many years before I came to IUCN, I was the executive director of ICSU, the International Council for Science. And as you know, of course, one of ICSU's specialized committees is SCAR, the Scientific Committee on Antarctic Research. And, and I am very interested in bringing the two com communities back together again, and we'll do that. Just finally, I'll tell you that um, we had a very strong resolution in Barcelona, which vigorously encouraged us to continue to be more involved in Antarctic issues and to work with SCAR. And I'm just very committed to do that, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you very much.